I pray by a power that this world does not know. I fast by a power that humanity is not aware of. Listen carefully. Using criticisms, using ill speakings, listen carefully, using sarcasms as a way of addressing negative things in the body of Christ is the weakest the weakest way of preaching the gospel in fact the most ineffective way of preaching the gospel it has never produced any sustainable results can i tell you the truth there is nothing happening in the body of christ today that started today it was there right from the early church that's why we need to be students of scripture whether issues that relate to fidelity and morality, issues that relate to character, issues that relate to extra biblical practices, issues, all of these issues have been there in the Bible. They are not just coming. They have always been there. Hallelujah. This is not the first time witchcraft is happening in the body of Christ. This is not the first time wrong things are happening in the body of Christ. But let me tell you the reason why the church still went forward to become like this because your emphasis becomes your direction the bible says so mightily grew the word not the issues what was mightily exalted was what prevailed so mightily grew the word and prevailed in spite of what was happening in the early church they were committed and sincere people who continue to give their best and to drive the gospel and in spite of all of the limitations and the troubles within the body with gallancy they handed over that button and transited in glory there were times of persecution in the body of Christ there were times of governmental persecution in the body of Christ so mightily grew the word and prevailed I have said it and I will continue to say that correcting people in the body of Christ is a ministry and not everybody is given that ministry. The same way, not everybody is a police officer or a law enforcement agent. Even if you see two people fighting, you may do your best to stop them. But when you want to deal with that issue, you hand it over to the law and people accredited with wisdom and intelligence to be able to deal with it. If we do not manage this, we are going to produce all kinds of problems within the body of Christ. They say, uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. We have to be careful, especially we, the younger ministers who are just starting. There are many heights we have not climbed yet. There are many things we do not know yet. We owe a duty to be contributors to the building of the body of Christ, not the confusion of the body of Christ. Now, the challenge with this kind of approach usually are the younger believers who are completely confused. Some of those younger believers will lose the faith simply because they do not understand. The, it's like everything based on the propositions that come to the body of Christ, it is safe based on so many propositions that have happened through the years to even believe that nobody is genuine in the body of Christ. No, from people respectfully, who have had all kinds of visions of seeing all kinds of men of God, every man of God in hell, to those who believe every, even if Jesus comes now and walks upon the earth, somebody will still see a vision of him as Beelzebub. We have to be careful. One day God will mark our script, all of us. Both the commentators and the players will stand before the judge. Let me recommend an alternative. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 15. Let me recommend an alternative to this wrong or poor approach that we this template we are using in the body of Christ in a bid to restore what we call sanctity or restore righteousness we have to be careful the Bible says but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head even Christ can I tell you even if what you are saying is true the moment the love component is extracted from it people no longer become interested this is one thing you need to know with people before people ever attempt to listen to you whether as a man of God this is true even for politics this is true even for whatever it is before you talk about politicians you talk about whatever people vet the love factor in you the moment they find out that there is no genuine love they don't care what you are saying again speaking the truth in love is a greater alternative a more effective alternative to criticism to tearing down 
to demeaning no don't do that don't sit down and be criticizing a parent and their child you are criticizing how they are raising their child whereas your own child you are not sure of what your child is and you are there tearing down somebody else don't sit down and criticize another man's church ministry institution that is not your assignment I will repeat it again it is the most inefficient way historically speaking biblically speaking of preaching the gospel no one has ever won that way the alternative is this that I give to you to speak the truth in love